Speaking of Ron Chaney, I want to say hello to his great grandson, Ron Chaney, who's here today. Our next speaker became a fan of monster films as a TV addicted insomnia wracked child in Toronto. She began writing for the Canadian horror magazine Rue Morgue and was soon asked to take over as editor in chief, thus fulfilling the same function with Rue Morgue as Corey did with Famous Monsters, where she follows in his footsteps to this day, carrying a torch to the new generation. Ladies and gentlemen, Yovanka Bukovic. Thank you, Tim. Um, as Tim noted, my name is Romanda, and I'm the editor in chief of Room War Magazine. Um, we celebrate all aspects of the genre, anything from literature to movies to music, uh, books, fashion, art, and all points in between. As a genre magazine, we owe a huge, great, uh, a great debt of gratitude to Forrest J. Ackerman and Famous Monsters. For if it were not for Uncle Foray and the pioneering magazine he edited, there would be no more, and I would not be standing here before you today. For this reason, the sobriquet Uncle Foray means a little something more to us at Room More than the average horror lover. We are a new generation of horror fan that could affectionately be called Foray's Monster Clan Kids. We diligently carry on the tradition he began with a sincere appreciation for the past as anyone who reads our publication can attest to. So when Rue Morgue was invited to this event, my entire staff, without hesitation, jumped at the chance to be here to remember the man and the magazine that started it all. They're all here. <laughs> when Joe Mo asked me to speak here today, I quickly and humbly accepted the honor, and immediately, like everyone else, recalled my first meeting with Uncle Forey. It was at the Saturn Awards some years ago, Tim Sullivan approached me at my table and told me that Forey wanted to meet me. I was mildly shocked because I wasn't even sure if Forey was aware of our publication. So I stood up and I followed Tim over to where Forey was sitting. And when I arrived, he arose and took my hand and said, My God, are you ever a new kind of horror magazine editor? <laughs> In that simple observation, he outlined both our similarities as well as our differences. To our similarities, he ran a horror magazine, I run a horror magazine. He had a personalized license plate that said sci-fi. I have a personalized license plate that reads zombies. <laughs> he had a collection of monster memor memorabilia in his home. I have a collection of monster mem memorabilia in my home and on my skin. <laughs> that day, Forey went on to say that us kids up in Canada were doing a fantastic job. He also made sure to remark that he had noticed our covers graphically recalled FM. <laughs> this was no accident. Our art director, Ghoulish Gary Pullen, who is here with us today, <laughs> he's been deliberately channeling famous monsters with his cover text and layout since the day our publisher and original editor, Rodrigo Godino, brought him on board. When Forey continued to say that we were now carrying the torch of FM more than any other, well, that meant, that meant a great deal to us at Rue Morgue. To be acknowledged and recognized by Forrest J. Ackerman was a distinction we never expected when we began this journey with Rue Morgue magazine. Several years later, we came upon the decision to finally pay tribute to our forefather by putting him on the cover of our 11th, an, an, 11th annual Halloween double issue, which somebody has really kindly put up here for you to see. Um, in keeping with the tradition of famous monsters, we approached Basil Gogos to paint a portrait of Forey for the cover, which he was thrilled to do. That issue, which hit stands last Halloween just prior to Forey's passing, sold out in stores in record time, a testament to his legions of adoring fans, both young and old. Mm. And when people told me that Forrest diligently kept the magazine at his bedside as they visited him in his last days on this earth, I was moved to the point of tears. I can tell you, excuse me, for a horror magazine editor, there is no greater compliment. Though the world and the genre has changed markedly in the intervening years between the first famous monsters and Rue Morgue, a few fundamental things have remained steadfast. Our collective adoration and supplication to the monsters and the films they inhabit does not appear to have diminished for they are timeless symbols. Many of those monsters have become now part of pop culture, much like Forrest Ackerman, 
You can seriously turn your head without seeing an image of James Wales Frankenstein or George Wagner's Wolfman anywhere you go. But for the monster kids, or us monster grandkids, those images speak to the misunderstood child within all of us, the one who identifies with the monster and always will, the one who will never grow old, never be entirely embraced, and like Forrest Jackman, never be forgotten. Thank you.